No, this is not Grand Slam tennis. Here over a lunch hour match in Winnipeg, allegations of match fixing at the professional level have tennis fans talking. I would like to hope that they weren't bribed. Any sport that has uh, that kind of an allegation or that going on um, needs to be investigated. As the Australian Open gets underway, the BBC and BuzzFeed are reporting on leaked documents going back to 2007 that they say shows evidence of suspected match fixing orchestrated by gambling syndicates in Russia and Italy. The tennis authorities have been repeatedly warned time and time again about a core group of 16 players, all of whom have ranked in the top 50, and eight of whom are competing now at the Australian Open. The world's number one ranked player, Novak Djokovic, is lending the report credibility, saying he refused a $200,000 bribe around the same time. And of course we, we, we threw it away right away. In pro tennis, players have been sanctioned for losing on purpose, but there have been criticisms officials haven't taken it seriously enough, refuted today by the head of the Association of Tennis Professionals. The Tennis Integrity Unit uh, and the tennis authorities uh, absolutely reject any suggestion um, that evidence of match fixing has been suppressed. The reports aren't naming players. In the past, some players have come forward with allegations of their own, including Olympic champion Andy Murray. We've got to start listening to the athletes. When athletes are blowing the whistle, when athletes are risking their career, saying there's corruption going on in my sport. Should allegations prove true, these fans say they want to know who's involved. They should be uh, ousted from the, uh, the sport. The only racket in tennis they say should be the one in a player's hand. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.